Hey guys, welcome back to another Toll Home Renovation Update. Yeah, we're excited to be back and I'm sure that it's long overdue and everybody's excited to kind of see where we're at. So we just kind of wanted to start off by showing you, we've got our living room, so we've got all our new furniture in. So Finally. that was pretty exciting. We waited six months like everybody else out there, hurry up and wait. Uh, so we've got our new living room furniture and we've also added our TV unit, which we love. It's all floating. It's part of the Ikea Besta line so no cords no cords no visible <laughs> cords the tv's mounted on the wall and everything's kind of just up there and kind of speaks to that wall i mean you got this big large wall and what do you do with it this kind of just ticked all the boxes for us we also got our dining room furniture in the next thing here gilbert you can talk about the patio door coming in well as you know from previous videos when we opened up this wall the header is already there it's already framed in for a six foot patio door so we've got that ordered it's coming in next week and uh yeah we're gonna tear this out and put that bad boy in and then, yeah. I, then i have to do a deck out there because he's gonna fall on the ground <laughs> that is going to be a game changer we're really exciting about excited about having like deck access off the kitchen and then also with the patio door all our picture window will come in for the kitchen above the sink which we're pretty excited about because we'll be able to put our backsplash in yep we're also waiting uh gilbert next is going to be installing all the trim uh throughout we have that in that arrived and speaking of trim we've got our new interior doors as well as we're putting a transom in new doors and as you know with uh trim you've got to case the doors out first before you do the baseboard so uh we're gonna do that and we're gonna make these nice little fixed transoms uh, above because all of these interior walls are not low bearing and it just out adds more natural light into the space, which I'm always welcoming, bringing in natural light. So we're kind of bringing back the transom and we'll probably put a special glass in there. Like we'll put a, a really pretty transom glass as opposed to just Definitely clear. So pretty. something, something pretty. <laughs> <laughs> just as a reminder, everybody, this whole wall is coming out. So we have not done anything with this original wall because our next phase of the renovation is to begin do, redoing the sun porch out there so that's still on the docket uh, we've ordered all of our doors and windows for it so that'll be probably I would say another six weeks before all that comes in putting skylights in the ceiling up here as well um, but nothing is happening to this wall it is as is for now because we're gonna keep it in place until you build that's it and then out it goes yeah that's gonna be a big job because this is low bearing for sure yeah so we'll be working on that next and I guess the pièce de résistance That's it. Uh, is our special little um, surprise for everybody. We decided to add in this corner over here a wine feature. Ta -da. <laughs> so if you recall, this used to be the original coat closet to the original farmhouse. And instead of it being a coat closet for us, we had used it as a pantry. So it served its time because we didn't have enough cabinetry in our kitchen. So it was the perfect solution. But with the new kitchen, we don't need this space. And we racked our brains trying to figure out what are we gonna do with this? We originally talked about it being the location of our wood stove because we took the wood stove out and yeah. we really wanted to have that. Gilbert wasn't really keen on that. Well, if you put the wood stove here, the wood, the, the heat's gonna have a hard time wrapping around that corner. Uh, so I didn't think it was in the optimal spot. Um, so, and to be honest with you, nobody actually uses this door to come in the house. So as a coat closet, it was kind of useless. Redundant, yeah. And now with all of these kitchen, beautiful kitchen cabinets that we have, uh, we've got tons of storage for food and we don't really need a pantry. <laughs> so this is uh, what we came up with, a nice yeah. little wine, uh, display and Gracie's gonna get trapped in there. Come <laughs> Aww, on you. It's okay Gracie, come on out. You. Yeah. Uh, so one really cool feature that I kind of happened upon is this uh, interior drywall track for a light. So I'm gonna cut it down to three feet and you put a strip light in there and then you cover it with this little diffuser and it's gonna be really sleek right up in the ceiling and you can pick the colors or whatever. Uh, it's gonna be kind of neat. Looking forward to that one. Yeah. 
instead of a pot light or a traditional light. Yeah, we, we could have just put in. another pot light in there, but we thought we'd kind of change it up a little bit. Yeah, and plus it doesn't distract from anything else. The light fixture may be distracting or, you know, hanging low. So yeah. it won't interfere with uh, access to any of the bottles. It won't be distracting. You just kind of want to let that beautiful walnut wall speak for itself and, and the glass and all that kind of stuff. So we really, we really fell in love with that system, that walnut light system. Wall. Yeah, the walnut wall. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so this is our, our update. Uh, we'll have more obviously for you as things to come. I probably the next update will be the doors and windows installed, the backsplash, yeah, right? I think so. Something yeah. like that. So until next time, have a great day, everyone.